Now, before we head over to our final lessons here of the course, I quickly want to also touch base again on Adobe Bridge. So for that, first of all, I'm going to go out of the full screen mode, exit Photoshop completely here, and just get back to my desktop. In the bottom in my dock menu, I also have a software here called Adobe Bridge. So let's select that. It will open right away. And basically, I do not want to go through this whole Adobe Bridge software right now. It will be way too much information. This will most probably be covered in our next course, 102 for Photoshop Beginners. The same goes for Camera Raw. I do not want to cover this. But I want to quickly give you guys a heads up and explain what I do in here and how can we as photographers use this in order to work quicker. So right away in the left-hand side here, under the content area, you guys get to see everything from the shooting. So I normally do my selections in here, give them a rating, as you guys can also see here with the star rating. And then from there on, take them right away into Camera Raw, do my pre-adjustments. So Camera Raw is a pre-software before you head into Photoshop. So this is a raw image, basically meaning all the details and metadata are still in there. And I can still tweak everything before actually taking it into Photoshop. So let me show that to you. So first of all, I'll just go and select an image here, and then I click with my cursors through my whole shooting. Whenever I see an image that points out or stands out, something like this, then I'll hit Command and 5 on the keyboard in order to give this a 5 star rating. Or I can hit Command 4, give this 4 or 3 stars, then as well I can hit Command and 6 and give this as well a red color, just in order to mark them and know which images I want to work on. Also, if you're a Windows person, please press Control now when I say Command. Great, I'm going to press now Command 6 again to just remove the red bar. And also if you press Command 0, this means no stars at all. So once I've did my rough selections with the starring, then I head over to the right hand side here, under the star, and go to my filters and say here, show only the images with 5 stars. Once I select that, I have another overview of the complete shooting and quickly can zap through. And then again, throughout the process, now I decide, okay, great, I really like this image. Let's maybe take this now into Photoshop. Let's actually continue a little bit. I really had another one that I liked. Okay, something like this. Let's take this now into Photoshop. So simply just double click onto this and it will open Photoshop right away, but goes first of all into Camera Raw, the pre-software. So double click and we right away are in Camera Raw now. So this is again, like I said, I do not want to cover the complete software. As you guys can see again at the top, a few more tools and on the right hand side, a few more options and a sliders to tweak in order to enhance the image. So I'll do this very roughly now. Again, I'm going to go to exposure, maybe just give this like a plus five to get another pop here. I'll also change the contrast up a little bit in order to get a bit more color. Let's actually head right away down to saturation. And normally what I do with this software is also play all the way to the right, all the way to the left in order to see what type of effect and how strong the effect will apply. Let's go like a plus four. I'm going to go take the blacks down a little bit. Give this a bit of a push with whites and the highlights as well. And then let's also have a look at the shadows here. Let's give the shadows just a bit more contrast. Great. And once I'm done with adjusting everything in here, I can now open this as a smart object or as just a normal layer. But more about that again in the course of 102 for Photoshop beginners. I'm gonna head over to open an image and right away this will be loaded now into Photoshop. So again, right away we are in Photoshop. I'm just gonna hit F, full screen mode. Now my image is already loaded into Photoshop. As you guys can see here with just a normal background layer and it's locked. We can double click on that, say okay, and right away start working on our new canvas here on our brand new image that we've just imported. If we want to do more, we can always hit back back to bridge and just do the whole process all over again. So yeah, just like I said, a small quick introduction into Adobe Bridge as well so that you out there, a Photoshop beginner, knows about Bridge and knows already what the software is all about. But for no means, this is not a good video for explaining everything in Adobe Bridge. The software is very, very powerful. And I would suggest also having a look in our bonus lecture. Again, well, there is a list with a few more videos for free that you can watch to learn a bit more about Adobe Bridge. Or head over to our 102 course in the future.